What's going on guys? I'm back with another tool from Brownells. I did a blog post on a complete disassembly of a Remington 700 bolt, but I wanted to do a video um, in particular on this tool. This is Brownells uh, firing pin removal tool. I opted for this one because not only does it do the Remington 700 and um, Remington Model 7, it also has an in insert for the Ruger uh, 77 Mark IIs. So I figured I'd grab this tool over the Klein endorsed just because you have the option to do both. Not that I work on a lot of Rugers, but nice little feature to have in case you do need to disassemble a Ruger bolt. And I uh, kind of liked it. Ah, sorry. I kind of liked the um, T handle on the Brownells tool versus um, just your standard bolt that was on the Klein endorsed tool. So it accepts both uh, firing pins from long actions and short actions. This is actually a Remington Model 7 that I'm going to show you on today. Um, Prior to even knowing about this tool, these things used to fight me all the time. I had this one disassembled to Cerakote, and trying to reassemble it, um, it was just hell. And I ended up, if you can see, I had it in a vise, and I messed up the caulking piece. So I ended up just buying a whole new assembly. This is just for parts, so I'm going to show you how this tool works with it, because it needs a part anyways, because the um, caulking piece is junk. So. so you just thread that in there. It doesn't necessarily matter how far you go in with it, just as long as it's secure. You don't have to, like, crank it down. Just make sure it's in there. And then you run this tool in. And then as it compresses the spring, let me move this here. As it compresses the spring, it pushes the caulking piece out so you can get to the um, the pin that holds it to the firing pin. So I'm gonna take my um, hockey puck bench block that I learned how to make from Kurt the Gunsmith. If you don't follow him on Instagram or his blog, I highly suggest you do. He does a lot of research and puts out a lot of knowledge. So then we're going to take a 330 second punch and we're going to punch this pin out. Another thing I learned from Kurt, you don't need a huge ball peen to knock out a small pin. I'm not even sure what this one weighs, but this is a pretty small ball peen. You actually get more out of a blow with a small one. All right, pins out. It went down through my homemade bench block. Um, as you can see, pins in rough shape from my prior issues, <laughs> we'll call it. But once you have the pin out, you can relieve the spring tension. And then you can unthread this. Actually, no, hold on a second. We're not going to take this out yet. My sleeve is coming loose. 
and it is a 564 Allen head that holds these uh, threaded sleeves in, so I'm just going to tighten this back up real quick. I'm going to put pressure back on this because this caulking piece should actually come out once the pin's out, and it didn't, so I would say it has something to do with the fact that I have it mangled. Not that it matters on this one because it's junk, but I'm still going to take a brass hammer by Brownells, obviously. Just like that. So your caulking piece is off. Now you can take the spring tension off. And once the spring tension's off, you can unthread the bolt shroud like that. Then your firing pin and spring, everything comes out. Um, and you can replace anything you need to, obviously. Obviously on this one, you would be replacing the caulking piece, but you might be switching out your firing pin. You might go be going to a different weight spring, or you might just be taking it apart to Cerakote the bolt shroud. No matter what you're doing, this tool is ideal for the job. It is a must-have. Trust me on this from prior experience. You need a tool like this to do this kind of work on a Remington 700 bolt or, for this matter, a Ruger 77 Mark II. So, I will put a link in the description for this tool. Um, if you do... If you own a Remington 700, you need one of these. If you do much work to Remington 700s, this is a must-have for your uh, tool collection. So, yeah, I'll put it in the uh, description, and if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. Thanks, guys.